Hello everyone, welcome to Quarantine Corals uh, 10, QQX as we call it. We're starting off today with a 5v5 exhibition teams tournament, St. Louis versus Chicago. So uh, why don't we go over the rules here, how this 5v5 is going to work out, who the players are and such. All right, so our players are from St. Louis and Chicago, obviously. Um, it's going to be stock style. So each, each uh, player gets two games before they're knocked out. And uh, I'm blanking on words here, but <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I'm blanking on words, but um, yeah. So each player gets two two uh, games before they're knocked out, and um, I'm not really sure what order we're going in yet. But uh, yeah, my here understanding. Are all of your players, and also, uh, what were you gonna say? My understanding for the way the style works is like. The winner has to stay on, the winner on the team has to stay on, but on the loser side, they can swap out to another character if they want. But like, if you if you lose you and you really want that run back, you can stay on, just you can't lose again. Like, you're you're down, you're down to one life left, so. That's um, pretty much the idea, yeah. So, hopefully, I'm not sure what the teams are going to start with. Um, We have a bunch of people in our lobby right now. Yeah, obviously uh, Guilty Gear not set up to have um, 12 people in the lobby at one at one time, so we're going to have to give some rotation. Looks like Cool Guy is coming up first for uh, St. Louis. Now, um, just to go over the players, some um, on Chicago's team, uh, we got Wukash, Elven Shadow, Kizzer Crate, um, I believe... Grant uh, had to drop out at the last minute due to um, being replaced by Wukash. Priorities. Yeah, so Wukash is in here. Um, and then Black Snake and Sim. Um, so we got three We got three really old players. Wukash, who's definitely a veteran as well. And then Kizzer Crate, who has proven himself in many tournaments before. So Chicago's team looks very, very strong with a good balance of uh, characters as well. We've got Biken, Kai, Venom, Faust, and Emilio. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, STL is mostly just really ungood characters. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, looking, looking over, like looking over the character, we got two Leos, Mr. K and Lotus, both really strong Leo players. Uh, Mr. K, one of the strongest Leo players out there. AHD, uh, Mickey, um, both strong. Uh, May and a strong Sin, a cool guy, obviously a strong Slayer. Um, now we we dodged the Slayer mirror since Grant had to work. Um, oh, thank God. But. But like you definitely, you we're just from looking at the teams. We definitely have like the full-on Unga team of St. Louis versus the Chicago team, who all players characters you would think are more finesse, but they all play them Unga anyway. So it's just Team Unga versus Team Unga, really. At the end of the day, here. All right. Uh, so this is on Cool Guy, but I'm cool with everyone getting in whenever they're ready. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or just Chicago needs to put up their first player first. Uh, it's going to be Wukash. Okay. okay. Wukash is going to be in here. Okay. So we're starting out Slayer versus Biken. Um, I think this is an interesting matchup, <laughs> but I think it does lead itself to Biken's favor. Uh, obviously, like a bad Azami could just get counter hit and explode, Slayer, but because Slayer, Slayer does have uh, a lot of yeah. gaps in his strings. That can lead to um, Biken being able to get out of his pressure. My bad on these uh, balls on the right side here. So we're starting off early. Oh my Lukash God, is backing off. <laughs> Lukash just yet yeah, putting up space with this to Tommy. Matt's keeping a uh, cool guy stuck in the corner there. Not really trying not to interact with him too much. Ooh, JD's to get away and just doesn't quite block on landing that JD landing recovery. Viking 6P works out really well. Clashes with the JH of Slayer. That's that very impressive. Is massive after that buff. Yeah, but Viking 6P is very strong. I was talking about the players. Some um, cool guy might be at a bit of a disadvantage. That's as we mentioned. Um, Grant is a Chicago Slayer player, but yeah. I don't know if St. Louis has any Vikings. Uh, we do have two Vikings, but not not either of them are very good. 
I see. Um, yeah, Biken's definitely a character that um, forces you to play her game style, and if you can't play around that, you, it's very hard and very frustrating to even try to do anything. Since you might think you have an opportunity to do something and just you get a zombie to explode. Gosh, getting out of the corner. I bet on that stutter there. Ooh, a bad burst from Cool Guy, but goes unpunished. Um, catches Wukash trying to jump out. Wukash gets hit, hit with the mid. Blocks the standing dust to reset, though. I don't care that this is net play. We're able to block those. Tatami stuffs any uh, approach. See Wukash is putting out the Tatamis. Ooh, 6k. You cannot throw bike in on reversal like that. Cash looking very strong and takes that first game pretty convincingly. Didn't really give Cool Guy too much opportunity. There was a bit where Cool Guy was caught in the corner, but he went for a cheeky standing dust reset instead of just completing a combo. So Wu Cash is gonna stay on uh, while Cool Guy has Cool Guy and Saint, Team St. Louis has a t chance to swap out here. Yep. Yeah. Um. We're just waiting on St. Louis yeah, to uh, choose the next player. Yeah. Now, I would say... Mr. K says he wants AHG up. AHG. So we're going to send in a May player. Send in a May. Um, all right. I'm not sure how May versus Biken works. Um, I know I've seen... Uh, I believe Blood Wolf has said he, he's not necessarily a fan of the matchup because it... The way Blood Wolf plays May, at least, is he likes to set up the Sea World. He likes to set up the ball, set up the Dolphin. And Viking can ignore a lot of that with her uh, armored run or her Azami, or even just throwing out her Tommy mats to counteract the zoning. Um, I would think that. I don't. I haven't seen AHG play, so I don't really know how he plays. It's a um, very defensive May. So he, he also goes in like goes for the uh, defensive zoning set up Sea World style. Um and I don't I don't know how well uh Wukat or how well Biking deals with that either. Um I haven't seen too much of this matchup. Alright. So the numbers on the scores are actually how many players are left. So yeah. It's a... Uh... It's a bit confusing right now, but we're working on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it also doesn't help that because this is net play, the players will just be forced to swap randomly between yeah. sides. So This is our uh, current count here. Uh, I should switch yeah. the May and the bike and balls. Uh, this is this is a <laughs> this is a trip. First, first time doing it and it's taking yep. a lot of technical work, so Yep. This is a uh, difficult in uh, Twitch chat. Is, realistically, this is a Chicago versus Chicago since if you're in the Midwest, you're just in Chicago anyway. Mm -hmm. It's like that's the only city. There's, there's like... Yeah. I mean... <laughs> yeah, you're right. Listen. Sim and Kizzer Crate do not even live in Illinois. <laughs> they work in Chicago, you know but they what? live in Illinois. <laughs> we have a lot of St. Louis players that are actually living in Illinois, too. Yeah, so they're Chicago. Uh, well, they're they're like they're like the very close to St. Louis, Illinois, because of the fact that St. Louis is on the very east of Missouri. Right. It's similar to like if you're on the northwestmost end of Indiana, that's you're still in Chicago land. It still is Chicago. You just pay less in your taxes, realistically. Wonderful. Uh, getting. I'm gonna turn up my sound a tiny bit. If I can, I forgot if you can do that while you're still in the lobby. Uh, Should be able to. Um, I don't. I don't think you can. That's uh, interesting. If you hit the pause button, you should be able to bring up the main menu. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can bring up the main menu. Yeah. Open up the main there. menu. It's a. Uh, oh, I gotta get out of the spectate first. Yep. There we go. I, I not... forgot you could do that completely. Florida is on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean, therefore Florida is part of New York. 
which is also on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. Of course. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That just makes sense. All right, hopefully the game audio is good now. It's a little loud in my opinion, but that's cool. It looks like HG is having a little bit of trouble getting into the uh, Are they? lobby I right now. I actually just don't see them yet. Well, it looks oh, like they're having we a little go. bit of trouble getting there into the lobby. So, yeah, there we go. Yep. I think I was seeing him like join in and then... It would get kicked, but all right, he's on the cab, so it looks like we're good to go. Cool. Good to go. We're going to see how this match goes. Now, again, both these players have a, a life or two lives, so they can afford to feel each other out. This is going to be a All little right. bit of an awkward situation for AHG because they really like to zone, but Biken has the one button uh, zoning shutdown. Right, like Biken's got her armored command throw that's just going to stuff any like projectiles because projectiles aren't going to hit low. And obviously, like as we're seeing, Wukash is just backdash to Tommy Matt. Backdash to Tommy Matt. It's going to destroy any other projectiles. There it is. Hey, she's got his, he's got his air throw though, and he's got Wukash in the corner here. And big damage for May. HG does have some experience in the Baikin matchup for what it's worth, so uh, we've got uh, a semi-experienced player against someone who's probably got a lot more experience in the matchup, honestly. That's still a big counter hit from the JH, and that was essentially two combos. Wukash playing a little bit passive and just kind of didn't really get his game started. There's the 2P. Yeah, I'm going to go for the uh, Suzu run. Oh, Azo tries to Azami, but is low azami it and just drops it before the ball comes on him. Overhead kiss, big damage. Yeah, he just got one more chance. Out for gets the, uh, hit with the overhead. Yeah, gets oh, there's a stun, not going to be able to burst out, and that's it. Wow. That was a really fast game from AHG. Yeah, really fast. Takes Wukash's stock out. Wukash playing a little bit too, honestly, looking a little bit scared and passive. Doesn't, didn't really go to do anything. Just tried to, uh... That was... He, he tried to take momentum a few times, but... Oh, we're getting Kizer Crate up there now. All right, Kizer Crate. All right, so here comes Kizer. With the steel chair. <laughs> of course. Is it now, great? And, I mean, we just saw Wukash, and Wukash looked like he was playing pretty passive. I do not expect to see that from Kizzer at all. Um, I'm expecting Kizzer to go in, yeah. Round start, 5H. Ooh, goes for the early overhead kiss. Gonna go burst safe combo. Smart from Kizzer, not bursting. Uh, that's that's what HD does Okay, all the time. there it is. <laughs> okay, okay. Punish my DP or give me meter. Like, that. that's what that was. All right, Kizzer looking to try to air throw him. Now, because there doesn't have a burst here, though, he did get his he got his 50 meter, but he spent it on a PRC to save himself. Now he's caught in the corner, gets caught with the overhead. That's not quite it, I don't think. No, with the RCE and a black beat, he's yep. able to complete that. Yeah, May does so much damage. HG definitely has the ability to win in short sets because they uh, they like to run people over a lot. I mean, May is absolutely a character that can do that because, like, you see this, like, you get afraid of May and. HG's been showing the overhead kiss, and this is how much damage it can do. Maze is a character that can kill you in two touches very easily, and she has strong Oki options. Alright, there's the burst. That was a tough situation for Kizzer, Kizzer Crate to decide right. when to burst. Alright, Kizzer playing, playing from a deficit here. Ooh, counter 6P. Gonna get a knockdown from this? No. Actually, ooh! Gets the tech buns, gets the air throw. Oh my god, what a backdash. Yeah, Maze got a really good backdash. All right, into the throw. Has Remember been locked the in the grappler? corner. Yeah. Wake up, gold burst. Start oh, up yeah. the unblockable. Oh, because there was not blocking, but it was far enough away that he didn't die just to the uh, whale. You know what? That's all right. Yeah. All right. Run under gets the throw. Kai's the wire sees to May can't jump out. Not quite enough to kill. May has a really high guts. And the lift to it and into two H keeps Kizer alive. And this played on his back foot for a lot of that round. 
Oh, didn't get the air throw, but got even better. Counter hit JH. Stun Edge go, Stun Dipper goes unpunished. Kizzer will take that trade 100% of the time. You do not want to trade with Kai 2H. It's really hard to ever make that a trade in your favor. Oh, a slight walk back from Kizzer to get out of the overhead kiss range. Punishes the whiff. That OHK is going to be the death of Oh, looking for the burst. That. Yeah. Oh, but May's too high. Oh, no. Kizzer got his burst back here. Is he going to use it? Yes. Burst safely. That's overhead. All right, he's got 50 meter and the air throw. Yeah. So Kizzer was absolutely, he, he went with the uh, 5D, 5P. And it's like, all right, this is my IK setup. But he mm -hmm. saw that AHG had a burst. So he just held down back, just said, all right, give me your burst. Unfortunately, May, do being that ultra light light character made that combo drop. But good on Kizzer keeping his cool and just looking for just the air throw to close out the round. I guess AHG's hopping off, getting someone else in. I'm not sure who it is. That puts HG down to one life left. Um, Kizzer Crate still got his two lives. Definitely yep. looked like uh, it might have been um, HG starting a real quick streak there, taking down uh, two players quick, but Kizzer was able to rally and bring himself back into the game. All right. So. Looks like we're deciding on um, who to bring up from St. Louis. Mm -hmm. now, this is the current standings. Uh, St. Louis has lost two stocks, and Chicago has lost one. Bring in Lotus. All right. Lotus. Yeah. See, right. like this is this is kind of an issue I feel for St. Louis, just based on team composition. Is a lot of their characters, just by yeah, matchup, yeah. kind of have issues fighting uh, Kai. They all kind of have a. Um, I think that Lotus is definitely St. Louis's most experienced player against Kai. Right. Like all like Leo has a rough matchup against Kai, Slayer or Slayer, Sin, they all don't like fighting him. So Very good start. <laughs> oh, wow. Kind of an awkward situation for Kizzer to be in where they're just a little bit out of range. I mean, this is, uh, unfortunately, you can have a good matchup against Leo, but once you're knocked down and put in the blender, Leo doesn't care who you are. All right, gets caught by the fuzzy, and that is a perfect first round from uh, Lotus. Ooh, tried to tech buttons, is too high up. Yeah, it has to burst. Mm -hmm. All right, kids are trying to set up a wall here, and that's kind of what you do against Leo, is set up this wall. Counter it. Ooh, does not bait the uh, eyes in. And Lotus, of course, is a player that will absolutely represent the flash kick on you as much as possible until you respect it. And that is going to be a quick two rounds from Lotus taking the game back. Wow. <laughs> I haven't even. I didn't even get a chance to update the the pool balls yet. Wow, <laughs> that was quick. Here's a crate losing a life there. We're gonna have Lotus up here now. characters remaining we got elven shadow i mean we can send wukash back out who do we want to send out do we want to bring sim out melia versus uh leo is leo is not a fan of the matchup but neither is melia so mm -hmm. kind of interesting who do you who do you send out against a leo right like you have to I, i'd say i'd say definitely black snake actually oh we're getting sim all right sim yeah. all right yeah I mean, we're really, Melia's really playing to not get counter hit by uh, 6H or something. Um, and there's a JH. Ooh, does not bait that burst. It looked like it did for a second. Unfortunately, Sim now is away from his pin. Yeah, cross up. Goes for the burst. He wants his pin back. Yep. 
Ooh, that back turn P actually anti air JH from Melia. Shows how strong it is. Alright, one last chance. It does not block his ankle. Sim looking like he's struggling with a little bit of this matchup. Maybe not recognizing exactly uh, what Leo is doing and how to fight back against him. Alright, setting that up. Very quick. Gonna block. All right, he's got it. He's got his knockdown in the corner here. So this is where Amelia can just win the game, though, right? Okay. Setting that up. Oh, you cannot. Oh, really out of that, but drops the combo. Unfortunately, gets himself back in the corner. He's got his burst, so it's not the end of the world. But ooh, good block on the uh, cross up. Oh, but Eisen he got, catches the extended hurt box. Baits out the winger. This is going to be a lot of damage. Reap on his there, burst. yeah. Yeah, it goes for a safe burst point. Dead angle, yeah, he just wants his pin back. And Eisen threw the pin. That's one way to deal with it. There's the throw, though. Shows that, hey, I know how to deal with this. Oh, but you can't cross up. It's a flash kick. And gets hit by the 5D. That's going to be game for Lotus. Unfortunate for Sim. We're playing net play, and it makes those uh, standing dust a little bit harder to block. Lotus definitely taking a few names here. Wow. Yeah, so um, Sim removes himself from the room, so that's uh, another life down from Sim. We're going to see uh, who comes up next from Chicago. Uh, having a little bit of trouble here, it looks like, uh, with this Leo. That's two, uh, two quick wins from Lotus. Lotus is staying on the setup, and they're bringing out, they're bringing out Black Snake. All right. All right so Black Snake's coming up next. Um, this is uh, again, I think, going to be all uh, both sides actually still have all their players available to play. Although uh, it is currently two lives taken on St. Louis side and three lives taken on Chicago side. Yeah, it's like you don't necessarily want someone to uh, sit in and just play both their games and then just be out because then you lose that ability to transfer to them for a matchup. Yeah. Like maybe Wukash is really, really good at fighting Sin and knows how to fight the Sin matchup, so you want to keep him out until maybe Mickey comes out. And then if Mickey wins the game, you just throw uh, Wukash out there and mm -hmm. he can win. So. All right, so some quick stingers. Just keeping Leo at that other side of the screen. Yeah, I don't care. Ooh, gets the uh, doesn't get the knockdown there, but walks out of the JD range. I didn't even know he could do that. Black Snake showing a lot of control of this matchup right now. Gets the knockdown. Oh, but whiffs his Oki and a quick flash kick reaction to punish him for it. Yeah, gonna RC that to make it safe. So all right, I'll just burn my meter. Sim gets away. Ooh, try or yeah, Black Snake tries to get away, but good from Lotus. Uh, just air throws him. Lotus, right, so I know for sure, is not nearly as experienced with the Venom matchup. Yeah, and like this, this is definitely one of. I think Leo has a lot of rough time here at this full screen because like Leo doesn't have great movement options, and you need to be able to move to get past these ball formations. Even his uh, his Sonic booms, like we've seen it, like they'll destroy one of the balls, and then. Black Snake will be able to block the second, block the boom, and then the second ball will hit Leo anyway. Yeah. So this is definitely showing, uh, baiting a burst. Two, three. All right, he's got his corner knocked down here. Oh, but just wake up and baits the burst. Black Snake showing dominance here, just going for that wake up close slash throw as and baiting the burst when it comes out. He's got himself in the corner, dead angles himself out. I want you to block. All right, he's got himself out of the corner. That should not quite it. Not enough from the double head Morbid. Runs out of meter. Couldn't block the flash kick, but was very not ready. Very good game from Black Snake. Yeah, looked very in control the entire time. Taking one game off Lotus, and Lotus is immediately getting off. Yeah, Lotus. Uh, he he did his work. He took a life off of um both Kizer Crate and off of uh Sim. I mean, Sim definitely one of the stronger players in Chicago's team. So, now, of course, Emilia in the back foot uh, always probably scarier. So, if you think about it, like Emilia in the losers bracket is uh, 
probably one of the scariest things I can imagine. Dear lord, yeah. We're gonna see who's gonna come up next from St. Louis. I'm thinking we're gonna see um, Mickey come back, come up here since he hasn't Maybe. been up to play yet. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know if they're if we're gonna see uh, Mr. K come up until everyone else has had a turn. Yep, here. we're definitely counter picking here. So. We're gonna counter pick. Okay. okay yep. Yeah, like you don't you don't want to send out Leo into um, Venom. I think we just saw that. Oh no, we are we are sending a Leo into Venom. I'm sorry. Oh we're boy. Sending Mr. K. The counter pick is I'm we're sending out our best player. You just you beat this first Leo, but can you beat this second Leo? Now obviously this 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 might work out because ever in Guilty Gear you can definitely play the same character in very different styles. So it may be that like okay, Black Snake just beat Lotus and knows how to fight Lotus, but he doesn't know how to beat Mr. K. All right, burning his meter, keep himself safe. Ooh, that Eisen from all that way away caught him. Oh, but has the meter now. Yeah, we're going to see uh, Black Snake just go to the other side of the screen. Bishop Runout going to come out. All right, so yeah, that, that Bishop Runout's just going to control all that screen space. I think Mr. K is definitely the most experienced in the matchup, in the Venom matchup out of anyone in St. Louis, because St. Louis doesn't really have Venom players. Venom is definitely a character where it takes a long time to like play him and learn everything you need to about him. And a strong first round for Black Snake. At what that gold burst really uh, gave him so much momentum, um, giving him that bishop run out, controlling all that space. But a good first jump in from uh, Mr. K starts this uh, second round off with spin. Ooh, the counter hit. Very smart from uh, Black Stake, uh, you setting up the ball and teleporting out of that pressure situation. Doesn't get the knockdown. So, Prusha gonna just try to get away from Leo here. Oh, Mr. K overextends a little bit, goes for the flash kick, trying to anti-air. Prusha. Two, three. All right, he's got his knockdown. Time to run his game. All right. Mr. K definitely keeping it strong once he's got his lead. Yeah, Black Snake got out, but uh, burn. But Mr. K burned the meters. Keep his turn. Oh no! Yeah, risky now, parade. Just stuck in the corner. Goes for the gold burst. We're gonna see another Bishop run out come out here. Now, how does Leo deal with this? I don't think he really does. I think he just has to sit here and block this for a while. Mr. K knows how to deal with some of that pressure. I mean, unfortunately, that was like four balls were set up. So that Bishop run out sat there for so long. Mr. K didn't really have meter. Leo doesn't have movement options. Yeah. <laughs> like, what we saw there was just like, Mr. K is like, I guess I'll just hold down back and hope I don't die. Unfortunately, right. just couldn't move past the Bishop run out. So, Here's Mr. K sitting in here. Yeah, is, are we going to see him play again? If he wants, he can absolutely, Mr. K can absolutely hop back on the cab and say, give me my run back. No, no, okay, he's gonna back out. We're gonna have um, HG come up, all right. Okay. So HG. Mickey still, has, no yeah, Mickey still hasn't played yet, but we're sending in uh, HG, all right. Uh, I think we might actually not know where uh, where um, Mickey is right now. Uh, uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, good block on the 5D at the last second. Oh, that 6P, Venom 6P, so 6 good. Mickey is here, okay, we do have that confirmation. Good pressure from HG. Not really able, neither player really able to establish a solid hit yet. Both players have like been doing good blocking. There's probably the first real hit. Ooh, jumps out of the uh, 2H reset. Gets the combo from the mad struggle. All right, so I'm gonna keep him in the corner, fuzzies him with the jumping heavy. To uh, get the knockdown. Remember, the Black Snake still has not lost a game yet. Yep. Now he's got it. He's gonna get knocked down in the corner here. This is scary against May because you gotta block that fuzzy. No burst. Yeah, not gonna give him. His, no, he does give him his burst. Just last second, make it safe. Bishop run out coming out. Oh, and the catches the six H with the JD. All right. 
Last bit and just gets hit with that wasn't even charged. He just pressed a button. All right, so Black Snake going uh, down around here. Oh, JD uh, catches him. Doesn't get a combo from it because the ball, but that's going to be a throw. Down from this. Yep, Solid. goes with a heart extension to get the corner knockdown. Baits out the Blitz Shield, smelled it out from him. Black Snake oh, is definitely very much looking for the uh, the big plays on those reading defensive options. We're seeing this, ooh, a big counter. It gets the knockdown, though. We're seeing uh, Black Snake get a lot of the 6P anti-air, but like the 6H just whiffs because May is so high in the air. If, uh, it may ooh, the counter hit standing up. heavy, though. I think that's going to be round, yeah. Oh, immediately goes to the teleport, calls out the dash up overhead kiss and punishes it. All right. Right, no throw. Ooh, but the Abare 2D uh, low profiles him. Good, air, good grab to punish that on that wire seat. And yeah, Venom has no recovery frames on 6B, so you can't uh, air dash at him. Really? <laughs> Literally zero recovery frames. No, it, oh. there's more recovery frames, but it feels oh. like it. Bait's the first! We bait close slash in 2020. All right, I'm going to expect, Solid. yep, here, oh this might be enough to guts crush here. Oh yes, it is. God. So AHG is out. No more May from Sh St. Louis. Black Snake showing why he is such a strong Venom. Very in control of the past few matches. Going on quite a streak. Very solid. Now, HG is knocked out. Black Snake's still holding on to both of their lives. Yeah, Black Snake can't get off the, uh, won't get off the cab until somebody uh, takes a life off of him. So, who are we gonna see coming up? Looks like Mickey's coming in. Oh, so Mickey's H coming in. All right. HG's out, but we're sending in somebody with two lives left. Yeah, Black Snake definitely showing. Uh, Going for the streak here, maybe trying just to uh, st keep keep on the setup and just uh, keep uh, Elven Shadow, Elven Shadows off. Uh, maybe making some beer or something, make himself lunch. Doesn't. <laughs> you never know if he'll have to play. Yeah, it's like one of those. All right, round start to us and Venom very strong. Ooh, gets the counter hit. Does get a big conversion, but gets him in the corner. Yeah, has to burst. All right, now this is, I kind of thought they might want to send out Mickey before HG here because um, Sin versus Venom, I think, is pretty rough for Venom because of you can't really control space with the uh, ball set too much because obviously Peak Driver and yeah. Sin does so much damage. All right, Sin's so going to have to, yeah, RCs and Eats. Ooh, gets caught trying to do something in the air there with the ball. It's going to be good damage there. Going to get knocked down. Oh, no. Okay. Unfortunate that, yeah. Not going to have enough burst meter to get that. Yeah, just almost got his burst back, but not quite. <laughs> All right. Yeah, round start 2S from Venom is very strong. and uh, That was just a far slash from Sin. Yeah, I mean, also a very strong round start. I think both players are okay with that. Ooh, gets caught with the low. And, oh, does the save Oki against the uh, wake-up DP. Big optimal punish. Not much damage because it's such a pro-rated starter. Doesn't even get a knockdown, but does get a reset. Ooh, Black Snake looked a little bit shaky on those knockdowns. Bad struggle. That is, yeah, it has to RC that to be safe. That version is unsafe on block. And now he's going to take all that tension. Wow. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, I'll just. This is just checkmate now. Mickey's still able to uh, take this back from Black Snake. I just saw Venom 6P lose an anti air interaction. Woo! Holy crap. That's new. I didn't think that was possible. Oh, the cross up 5D. Not entirely sure if it was intentional, but it's net play, so why not? Run up throw. All right. Mickey looking kind of weak right now. No burst. Gets getting his uh, reverses baited out. 
Both players with 50 meter here. Ooh, good 2S to uh, stop the pressure. Takes his turn back. Ooh. Maybe a Voltic Dane just to see oh, what happens and misses the setup. Unfortunately, Venom wakes up so fast. I think that screwed up his uh, Okizeme. It gets crossed up with a teleport and Black Snake keeps himself in. Oh my god, Black right Snake. <laughs> Peppery Splash confirming that Sin JH is one of the few normals in the game that consistently beats Venom 6P. So, <laughs> congratulations on Sin on having the best jump in it button in the game. Y you may be right about that, yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're deciding for another switch out. So uh, AHG no longer, he's not going to be able to be chosen again. So we're not going to see any more May players come out. Um, Mickey, I honestly don't think did too poorly there. Uh, he just kind of, just a few mistakes on his Okizeme and gave Prusa the chance to run it back. But I don't think Mickey did too poorly. Mm-hmm. Alright, while they decide, I'm gonna take a quick go AFK real quick. Oh my god, right. take care of. Go ahead. Alright. So, uh, this is a first for us. Oh my god, Amadeus, uh, mic is echoing into my, uh, speakers. Okay. Alright, so this is a first for us. We actually have ads, um... We are currently partnered with, uh, Kaiten Books on, uh, Maturino. Um... Give me one second here. Check out some of Kaiten Books' newest manga releases. If you'd like to purchase, you can even do it through the Macharino page, and $4 out of every sale goes straight to the prize pool. All right. Time to go back as soon as I can so that I can actually see what happened. Put Mr. K back up. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry about this, I gotta change all this stuff, so I'm freaking out a little bit. Alright, I'm back, and we got Mr. K back. Uh, looks like St. Louis is looking just to stop the reign of terror that is uh, Black Snake. They really want it. Yeah, no, like, this is obviously... Mr. K's only got one life left here, but so does everyone else on their team, so they're definitely playing from the back foot here. Good defense on Black Snake here. Ooh, gets caught, but not really a confirm. Ooh, baits the 4-H match with the 6P. That's... Ah, has to RC that. One, two, three, and that is it. Uh, Mr. K is going to keep himself. Go around up. Oh, Matt struggles, but does the H Matt struggle, so doesn't get to recover in time to block that. Your lord, oh, this is scary. Yeah, like, that was very... Goes through the Blitz to beat the OS, the throw OS. Mr. K could finally take one of Black Snake's lives here. I think he's doing that right now, because I think this combo should be enough to kill. Yes, it is. Your lord. I mean, Leo does so much damage. Now, Black Snake goes down one life. So... Black Snake has the option if he wants to stay on. No, it looks like we're going to swap out. Um, Elven Shadow still has not gotten a chance to play here. So are we going to see uh, Elven Shadow come out? Or are we going to... Because like we got Mr. K. We got Team Captain up here. So we're going to see Team Captain versus yep. Team Captain. I have a feeling that's what we're going to see coming up next. I think I might have just gotten signed out of Steam here. Ooh. Uh, might have to wait a second. Uh, yeah, I'm currently disconnected from Steam. I'm still in the lobby, but okay. I'm disconnected from Steam. So I'm going to sit here and see what happens. If they start playing and I, it, it crashes, that might be why. I might have to dip out for a bit. Okay. Uh, cool guy. The lobby is still the lobby is still up. up. It's not uh, it's not down on my side. I think. Let me check my friends. Uh, it says I'm actually disconnected from friends too, so it might just be Steam maintenance. 
I just saw Mr. K leave, so I'm not sure if he got kicked out. I, I think it's just Steam maintenance. Uh, I know Steam timing. was having crashes yesterday, so I'm back in, though, so... My Steam has rejoined, so... As it for me... Steam maintenance normally happens on Wednesdays, Tuesdays. Uh, Tuesdays, you're right. Typically, I know they are having some issues earlier in the week, though, so they may be doing... I don't know why they schedule their emergency maintenance for uh, middle of the day, but... I, if, if I'm logged out, too, I think it is Steam maintenance. It has to be. All right, yeah. Well, I'm in a weird space now where I am... I'm the leader of the room, but I'm not... My icon is not in the room, so I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah, uh, just remake the room. Remake the room is the be best thing. Steam just came back up for me. All right, I'll uh, I'll remake the room. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and remake the room, everyone. Um, oh, I just got is... sent back into the room after pressing disconnect. Remake the room because, yeah. like, I think everyone got screwed up. Okay then. Yeah, the, the fun, fun times of netplay tournaments, I think, is what we're experiencing here. Creating room. Okay, looks like I'm connected back to Steam. Creating room. It looks like it works. Terminating online mode due to a connect due to a connection error. You might have to reboot the game. Yeah, I might have to. That sucks. <laughs> Classic netplay tournaments. Ah, uh, so much fun. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely signed back into Steam now. All right. Uh. Amadeus, would you mind reading our ad script real quick from the commentary channel? Sure, let me find where the commentary channel is. Guilty Gear Exhaust. Online. Online. Uh, I can't find top. that channel. Uh, At the top? Uh, in info. Oh, I see now. Alright, so I'm um, just going over some of Nice sponsors. I didn't even realize we had sponsors here. We've got um, Kaiten Books. Uh, they've got newest manga releases. If you want to purchase, you can just go through the Masherino page. Every $4 out of every sale goes straight into the prize pool. Um, so please uh, look for Kaiten Books. Um, they work with Amazon, uh, Bookwalker, Google Play, um, obviously with Masherino. Um, so you can go and purchase uh, your favorite manga, the latest volumes available. I think we're still waiting on getting that room set yeah, up. We're, uh, I've got I've got the room open now. I'm just getting the links and stuff. Right. Yeah, that we gotta... should be the co lobby code and room link into the Discord. Um, so I have the XX announcer, but there's certain um there's certain lines that don't have an XX equivalent, so it just plays the original announcer, like the uh, it's not over yet, that kind of stuff. It's it probably, is like, there. It's just like you yeah. probably haven't noticed. Uh, okay, we're back in the lobby. Nice. Alright. So we, we, we've remade our lobby. Yeah. Elf Elts in the characters that aren't in uh, Reload are the characters that don't have lines. Because I use the uh, the Reload announcer and not the XX and uh, not the uh, plus R announcer. Sorry. All right, we got Mr. K versus Elven Shadow coming right up here. All right, so we are getting team leader versus team leader. Now, Elven Shadow, if he loses this first game, now they're both just down to one life left. So we could just see them just say two out of three, or essentially Elven Shadow could play this as a two out of three where he's already game up. Pretty much. You're correct about that. All right, early, early advantage to Mr. K getting that counter at 5H. Right, so is that going to try to play this uh, range game? Gets caught by the JK though. That's going to put him in the corner. All right, you're throwing out the bomb bag. Yeah, get that in full screen. There's the meteors. There's the files coming out. Meteor's going to save him. 
Oh, Wire C is actually invulse through the uh, first active frame of the 6H, it looks like there. Blocks that 6H. Alright, just keep throwing out 6H. One of them we gotta land eventually, and it does. Gets the hammer even to follow up. This is good advantage from Bozak here. Ooh, but the Wire C lets him get the 6P out. Bates the burst. That's very good for uh, Mr. K now. He's gonna get this corner. Okay, one chance left. Wire C's 5D invul through the unblockable. Nice wire, see nerd. It's still it's still a standing dust, and that gets the round for Elven Shadow very very strong. Using that five D to get out. Oh, it doesn't combo after the counter hit uh, drill. Five P to interrupt the uh, oh, he's, uh, the pressure. Oh, counters. I think Mr. Kane has an idea of what he wants to do now. Yeah, he's got him in the corner, so we're going to see some uh, Leo time here. Oh, goes through the Blitz. Blitz Wars. Bozak does not have the meter to continue that. This is a lot of damage. Not all at all, actually. I'm sorry, I lied. There was so uh, much variation. You know, sometimes the... Leo does damage, sometimes he doesn't. You, know, you never know. It was from the... Uh, it was not a max charge Blitz. It was just a partial charge Blitz. Yeah. So it didn't do that much damage in the end. Hurry's really hard. Very good mix-up of the uh, air dash wire. See, what was that? Yeah, and gets through the... Dashes through the dead angle. Bozak's going to have a burst here, though, going into this uh, last round, possibly. Ooh, goes for the 6H reset. Another 6H has to jump over the mini Faust. Gets wake up thrown for his option. Mr. K is definitely finding Ooh, their way around. Block <laughs> can't block the standing dust because he's in back turn stance. So oh, no, yeah. Goes for some sort of burst reset. No burst from uh, Bozak yet. Oh, good from Bozak. Not bursting there. That uh, back, turn back turn dust was definitely trying to catch that. You can tell Mr. K Meteor's wants that burst so bad, he wants to just end this right now. Yeah, and Meteors are coming down, so like Bozak's just going to Before Elven down Shadow can adjust. Bit. Oh my god. And this, That's uh, cool. he, he, did, he bursted properly. Both players are going to explode there. Yeah, Elven Shadow jumps out, and the bomb bag was still active! That is it, Mr. Knocked K out. is knocked out. Yeah. I didn't even see that bomb bag come out. That just was, I think, the last possible frame you could have hit him. This is a stressful situation for St. Louis because uh, they're yeah, playing like against Black arguably Snake. their best player. <laughs> Black Snake did so much work against St. Louis, like we mentioned earlier. Like St. Louis is team composition was a lot there are a lot of characters that have not necessarily great movement but really great just big damage big one hit chance to run it unfortunately black snakes plays venom and venom is a character that is very perfectly fine with that because if you can't move you don't get a chance to fight against venom so black snake did so much work early on taking out so many lives it, like AHG is gone, Mr. K is gone, so now we're going down to uh, the next Leo player, Lotus. I disagree that saying uh, Chicago is finesse. I think Chicago is also Unga. We just we just play different characters. We, St. We're, Louis we're is not definitely so... the Unga state, though. Like, come on. Yeah, like... St. Louis is just like, no, they're, they're just Unga and proud of it, while Chicago... We, like, you look at a team like, oh, that's not Unga. No, we are. <laughs> I definitely like to see how Wukash plays it. So, yeah, Elven Shadow just kind of trying to keep back here, throw out some items, get a favorable draw. Ooh, gets the back turn G D, gets the shield out. One, two, three. All right, R C is it gonna try to finish it? Yeah, Faust is not a character with a lot of guts, so that's gonna be able to kill him off in that combo. Three. Blocks the cross of JS and oh, 5P out of the pressure. Good defense from uh, Bozak. Gets that a body. This Lotus, Lotus's game right now is reminding me a lot of what happened with Mr. K. A very strong first game. Yeah, I mean, Elven Shadow. Ooh, blows himself oh, up no. on the oil. That's a free run through to get close, but didn't actually get much off of it. 
Alright, so Elvin Chun's gonna get the good bomb back. Oh, he, oh he, see, we saw Mr. K was ready to block all those six H's, but I don't know if uh, Lotus is. I don't is. think Lotus blocks. Alright, so that's gonna be that first round. Elvin Chun's gonna win that round, keeping his burst, which is really important going into this last one. Whoever wins this, by the way, uh, fights the Midwest Milia All Star team. Just like 17 Millies you have to run through. I wanted. I, I remember Frosty Faustings. I wanted to go sit down and play some, uh, some uh, you know, casuals at the uh, gear stations. There were just like three Millias. I, I don't, I don't oh no! Play those millias. Lotus forgot about the meteors coming down. Did flash kick directly into the meteors? Just took so much damage from that alone. Lotus is definitely right, so in a stressful Binky, situation against Binky this big Faust on the screen, gonna pick up off of it, and Lotus is out. Lotus is out. I don't mean I don't mean to be be a, a doomsayer here, but this, this is, is looking, looking pretty dire. <laughs> yeah, like Elven Shadow still has both of his lives, so we're looking at a uh, cool guy and Mickey to bring it back all the way against. They still have six players, six wins they have to get with these two players left. This okay, is... cool guy going up. Now, oh, and then again, like Slayer versus Faust, not a great matchup for Slayer. It's he's kind of in that same realm as Leo, where he doesn't have great movement options, and. Oh, shoot. Tries to win off of that one hit, but if he can't get that one hit... Ooh, round start 6P. That's that one hit that he needs, though. Doesn't confirm and get the full knockdown off of it, though. Good ant here. Standing jab. Cool guy's playing from a life lead and meter lead right now, but now he's in a bad situation on this uh, neutral. And he does not block the oil blast. That's 6H. El Mr. K has been the only player on St. Louis we've seen consistently block the Faust 6H, and Elven Shadow has picked up on that. I think uh, Mr. K is definitely the kind of person who likes to figure out when people like to press buttons, so it makes sense that he would know. Yeah, and like that that game with state awareness of knowing Faust wants to go for the 6H, like it's a slow overhead, but he puts it in situations where you're not looking at him or you're afraid of that. Uh, 2H that low. And just runs up and does close. He might have been going for a throw there, honestly, but I mean, just an overhead works too. Yeah, that's going to get thrown. That 2D. Faust gets up very slow, so uh, cool guy was not ready for that. Did his 2D a little bit too early, got punished by the throw. Man, I wish I knew anything about these uh, get up times. Yeah, unfortunately, Guilty Year is a game that has every character has their own unique wake up timing, face up and face yeah, down. Neutral. And Faust is a character that wakes up slow, and unfortunately, cool guy, no meter. So Elven Shadow is just going to throw out special moves at him until he dies. All right, Chip the damage. only player left on St. Louis's side is Mickey. Yeah, so this this might be the best matchup available for fighting Faust here. Is this uh, Sin? So Mickey, Mickey, looking down the barrel of a very very long run back here gonna have to take out he's gonna have to fight every single player in chicago at least once this is if he gets past elven shadow <laughs> yeah he's got to beat elven shadow and then beat every single chicago player i think i just saw him leave the room actually uh i guess he's done i don't know okay he's having some issues oh. joining so he's gonna try to join in here we do have both the link and the goat available so we find that sometimes people can vote join via one but not the other yeah, it happens. Usually with the link, if you if you get kicked out as soon as you enter, you just have to enter again and then it works for some reason. It's really odd. Yeah, frantically he's researching uh, five matchups at once. <laughs> hey, matchups don't matter once you get the knockdown, right? At that point, you're just doing things. I'm gonna stand around and just uh, admire this uh, this net play room, you know. <laughs> or... I mean, 
mean, I'll, I'll get in the uh, push-ups as as needed. Alright, Mickey, are we seeing? Oh, I'm seeing see his him, uh, little dude in here. Okay. I'm waiting until I see a move. Uh, isn't it usually like they have to wait for their outfit to load in or something like that? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't but think if you Princess just Mickey was outfit. wearing anything though. I'm seeing his uh, delay change. Stretchy mode. Stretchy mode. He says he's, he's, he says he's relaunching the game. It's not letting him join. So he's probably getting into the lobby, but I know what the stretchy emote. Yeah, there we go. Stretch. All right. Well, you know what? Let, let I'm gonna sit here. Get on. While we wait for Mickey to get in here, I'll wait for y'all and uh, me and Elvin Shadow can uh, play a game. <laughs> this will be interesting. This will be perfect. Alright, so yeah, just a real quick intermission match of uh, Jam versus Faust. Really, my goal here is that uh, Elvin Shadow throws out helium at some point and I can grab it. I can make everyone really this upset watching the stream. <laughs> if I'm wait, wait, I'm not. I've never been to St. Louis. No, I disagree on this. Do it for St. Louis, Amadeus. We got this. <laughs> Solid Ryujin into the, into the corner. Amadeus is definitely one to look on, to put on that pressure, but Elven Shadow sees it and says, "Nope, oh, you don't get that." Overhead. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you played against this guy before? I have, but uh. All right, I, gotta come by this. I forget that the uh, tongue is overhead. I forget that he has the highs and lows there. Alright, Mickey still says he's having trouble joining. Knockdown. Oh dear. Alright, we got it! We're oh, in God. there! That's right! Good Ryujin. Right into the corner. That's a, a weird dropped but also picked up combo. Yeah, that's that's the buff oh, we needed, shit. right? I wanted to parry. Get the buff ah. we needed. Ah, oh, we can throw. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Solid. All right. Uh, has we gotten? Listen, I thought he was going to press a button to air to air there. I don't. I think Mickey's still having trouble joining, so we might have to remake. My... Have him make the lobby. See if he can yeah. make the lobby. And... That'll be our last match if he does lose. So it wouldn't be a big deal if we remade the lobby because we'll have to take a small intermission before we start the tournament, anyways. Yeah, Mickey. I would say Mickey make a ro yeah. lobby and we'll join that. Gonna disband the room real quick, and then we'll join yeah. off of him real quick. I thought he would air to air JH. That's why I went for the Blitz Shield trade, Dane. You can't blame me on that. Okay. Yeah. really unfortunate that we're having technical difficulties on our last match. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. Um, here, let me make myself a tiny bit louder. There we go. Just a tiny bit. Oh, Michael's going to play on... Oh. He's going to switch to AHG's account real quick. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, that's... 
One they they, they live that. in the same house, obviously. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That can often cause some issues. Um. Might have to tag AHG here. Uh. You know what? I'm really glad that I uh, that I found uh, the mod that changes things to uh, the XX announcer. But... All right, we got our lobby code here. I see. I won't say that out loud. Yeah, don't don't say it out loud. It it won't matter because it'll show up. But you know what I mean. Well, that's uh, at least the I players accidentally press the search for room button without putting the code in, and I'm gonna I gotta wait like the minute before it actually shows up any of the rooms. All right. There we so go. yeah, we're gonna see AHG playing Sin because it's actually Mickey. Um, uh, where is my room thing? Room type? No, it's not that. Uh, no, that's the create room button. I wanted to search for rooms. There we go. That's my problem. It's been a sec. Yeah. Okay. Now we're searching for rooms. Did not find a room. Where's uh, I'm in it. Did you mistype something? Uh, let me just like copy paste this so I don't get it wrong. Oh yeah, I typed it in wrong. My bad. Oh, and should be able to join. Please. Nice. Got a goal. Uh, still searching for room for me. Well, Elven Shadows in here, so. Oh dear. Could not find a room. Uh. What is going on, man? All right, so biased commentary time. I'm not even streaming, so I can't. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll let them know. Please wait. Okay. I. Six. Ah. Why can't I copy paste from Discord into Gear? It's an I, right? Am I reading that Can right? You... Yeah, it's it's a lowercase I, and then count down from six. Yeah. Okay, I swear this is just Maybe. trying to screw me over right now. Yeah, we may. This may be the opposite issue of what was happening. Um, I don't know if you have Ayumu, myself, or Elven Shadow on your friends list. But oh, we did you. I think. Yeah, I do. Um, join game? Is that a button I can press right now? Yeah, you should be able to join game. Uh. Uh, it's already launched. It's not saying join game. There should be... should be something. We go to his account and say join game. Blocked? Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> it said blocked. Wow, we're learning a lot right now. I don't know what's going on. Why am I having trouble getting in? I... How about this? I, since I've been able to join both the year lobbies, stream on Discord and I'll, I'll window capture Discord. I'll go ahead. I'll make a room, and we'll see how this works. What is happening? All right. Maybe it was on my side or something like that. I'll, I'll restart my game again. Guilty, guilty. Yeah, while you do that, I'll go ahead and post this one. Dear Lord, what is going on? Uh, Guilty Gear is a well-coded game that is uh, a piece of software made well by Arc System Works. It's just annoying because um, like, I don't see these types of issues happen any other time other than when yeah. we're streaming. I'm trying to get into it. Uh, search ID. Okay. Yeah, Mickey, you better run the. You better like run through everyone. I want Mickey to beat like everyone, and then it'd be like Bozak versus Mickey at the very end. This is so frustrating. 
Searching for room. Could not find room. Why can't I find room? Okay. If everyone's in your lobby, then... No one's in my lobby yet, okay. so... Wow, Elven Shadow just joined. God. This is so frustrating. No, I'm using the uh, search ID. I'm restarting my game again. We'll see if it happens. Um, worst comes to worst, you can just like stream the game on Discord and then I'll capture that and it'll be whatever, but it'll be trash quality. Yeah, well, I'm waiting on uh, Mickey to join my lobby here still, so it's just me and Oak. Yeah, it says I can't find the room for him. I love Guilty Gear. Oh, jeez. Guilty Gear? All right, let me... Let me figure out how do I how do I make that link, and I can maybe post that. Uh, you go to your Steam profile and then copy the link that is the join game button. All right. Well, first I gotta figure out how I even get to my profile. Shows you how much I actually use the features of Steam. Copy link address. I just right. straight up restarted Steam, so. Okay. All right, Mickey's able to get in now here, so I'll give you a little bit to get in. And okay, preparing, connecting to server, connecting. See four players in the room. Yay! Yay! Hey, holy crap, that was dumb. Okay, now let me fix. And Mickey the... just left. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord, we've been here so long. Please, Mickey, stay in, please. Lobby soccer tournament right now. This is how we decide it. All right. Good luck. Oh, oop. Ryujin. Shoot. I'm going to the right side. Oh God. Ready? Okay. <laughs> He's still having trouble. Damn. I don't think you understand how much I just sit here in the lobby and play with the fucking soccer ball. Oh my god. I'm ho I'm using a controller and not my stick right now, so I'm not used to having to hold it in a super weird way in order to run and kick at the same time. I literally have to claw my controller right now. Yeah, it's a square and uh, X on mine. Oh, uh, it's a uh, it's, it's circle on mine. Ah. Oh shoot! What what is what is this? All right, cool guy. I think is saying we're just calling it. Um. All right. Unfortunate way to end it, really. GGS, everyone. I, I don't want to be offensive to anyone, but I guess I think we can all. Yeah, we can all see it. That. Mickey, I, I trust you're a strong sin player, but I don't know if you're strong enough to fight everyone. And we're going to have a bracket in 15 minutes, so. Just uh, lay on my face and. So I guess we're going to have 15 minutes or so. Bracket will be starting. Um, yeah. Hope to see you all there. Hopefully we're going to have a lot more. Hopefully 